我会先啊、呃、讲完 like 先，啊、呃，我们现在还在 like， 啊、呃，我会尽快尽快交完 like 先，因为有一些啊、呃，你们有一些在热血这 wave 啊，所以我会尽快交完 like， 然后我会去 wave， 然后我讲完 wave， 可能我会 come back at like， okay， just to be fair to everybody， okay， because some of you are learning like， some of you are learning wave， so maybe you have exam at the end of the year， and some have exam on waves。So I need to talk about waves as well, okay? Just to be fair to all of you, okay? Now, today I will talk about lenses. Okay? Previously, ah, 之前我是讲到啊、uh, mirror, mirror. So we have done with mirror. We have done with reflection and refraction. Now, now we'll enter the almost the last part of the chapters. Light is the lenses. Okay? Now, today will be more ah, important. Ah, because I will teach you how to use lenses. Which is ah.、Uh, Quite confusing, okay. If you didn't pay much attention, okay. Now lenses, ah, so first, I first talk about, ah, there are three types, ah, three types, ah, different, ah, transparent object. So first one is you will hear is we call it the slab, okay. The other is slab, ah, sometimes we call it the glass, ah, glass slab, okay. So slab is, ah, it is rectangular shape. Rectangular shape, so it's transparent, ah,透明的，所以 light can pass through. Ah, so if you draw the light ray, ah, strikes here. So what happened is that here, okay, let's do an angle, ah, let's do an angle, ah, let's say the light ray, ah, like here. Okay, so normal is perpendicular to the surface, right? Normal perpendicular to the surface. So when A travels from ah less dense, which is A. And enters a denser medium, it bends towards, right? It bends towards. Okay, just to be the light ray should be like this, like this, and then you have a normal. Okay, normal like this, and then it bends closer, right? It bends closer. You should already know this. It bends closer here, and as it exits, it bends away, away from the normal. So here again, you have a normal here. This light ray shows this incoming ray, ah, 跟这个出来这个 ray 啊，一定要 parallel 啦。Okay, 现在我现在画到呃没有 parallel 啦。It doesn't look parallel, but it must be parallel this one. Okay, in the reality, ah, these two must be parallel. Okay, so this is traveling through a glass slab, ah. Now second one you have is prism, glass prism. Okay, glass prism is a triangular shape, triangular shape. So Same thing. It looks like this one, this one. Okay, this. Now, as light enters, okay, we're going to draw a light ray. As light enters, again, it is bent, and then coming out also, it is bent like this. Okay, if I put an arrow like this, arrow is bent. Okay, glass prism. Now, lens ah is circular, is curved. Okay, so last one. Here you see a lens is different from glass slab and glass prism. Ah, so the difference is you see glass slab. Ah, 第一个啊，它是 plane. 那个 light ray enters the boundary. Ah, the boundary is the plane surface. It's flat. Okay, and they have two parallel sides. Okay, this is we call it glass slab. Glass prism 呢，它的那个 boundary 也是 plane 的。Okay, 你看 flat 啊 ，plane. The other side is also plane. But the one thing that is different from the glass lab, okay, is that this two plane surface is not parallel, okay, not parallel. And then the last one, ah, lens, ah. So when we talk about lens, right, is neither parallel nor plane, okay. So both surface is curved. Here is curved. Here is curved, and it, they are also not parallel to each other. So when light passes through one of these three, ah, they are going to de behave differently. Okay, so light passes first two, they are only bent. Okay, bent and this refracted. Okay, as light passes through the lens, ah, here, what happened is that there is this effect. We call it the converging. Okay, converging meaning that the light will focus on one point, and that point again, you have already learned about that point. That point we call it the the focus. Okay, so now today we talk about. Lenses. So lens is as long as one surface is curved, we call it lens. 
not necessarily two surfaces. Ah, 有时候你会看到 lens 是一边是圆的，然后一边是平面的。那个我们也是叫它 lens. As long as one surface is curved. Okay. Now, now you should know the difference between these three. Ah, slab, prism, and lens. Now let's look into the lenses. Okay. Now first lens is the convex. Okay, convex lens. Now convex lens, we also call it converging. Converging lens, because it produces converging effect. Okay. What do I mean by this? If you take a convex lens, and then any light rays that comes in, parallel light rays that comes in. Then they are going to be focused on the focal point. Okay, this is why we call it the converging. This is the converging effect because they all comes to one point, the focus point. Okay. Now, con convex lens. Ah, first thing you have to uh, you have to be able to tell the difference between convex and concave. Okay, convex 就是它的旁边是很小个的，就是它的 diameter 啊，在它的 corner 那边啊，很小个的。然后它的中间是比较肥的 ，OK， so it's easy to tell 啊 ，the convex lens。Now convex lens 呢，它是一个 family， OK， now a family 里面有 many many family members， right， many many family net members。So meaning that convex lens， you can modify it， you can modify it。如果我把这个 convex lens 切一半 ，just imagine that， if I cut it in half， it looks like this， OK， if I cut it in half。Then it looks like this thing. Okay, so the left side is now flat. The other side is the curve. Now, this is also convex, ah. But in fact, we have a name for it, right? We have a name for it. If it's half, ah, so means we call it the plano, the plano convex. Okay, kind of like the first family members of convex lens. Okay, normal one, ah, the most normal one, ah, we call it the double convex. Double convex because it has a double curved sides. Okay, so this is plano convex, half flat and half curved. Now another thing, if you make this part, ah, this part, ah, the flat part, ah, if you cut it again, cut it into the lens, ah, and it you make it become curved. Okay, it it is going to look like this. First is the outer surface, and then the inner surface also will be a little bit curved. 就很像一个月亮的形状。OK， 那这个呢，我们也是教它，因为它的两边是 curve 啊。你看它的左边这边是，它是 curve inward 啊，它很像 concave 这样子是。它的左边这一 part 是很像 concave 啊 ，curve inward。然后它的右边是很像 convex 这样子是 curve 出来的。所以这个我们教它什么 ？It's like a con concave or convex。OK， doesn't really matter the names 啦 ，OK， just to let you know 啦。Okay, just let you know concave or convex. Why? Because it kind of like a mix of the concave and convex. So these are all the families, the families of the convex lens. Now, all these are they have the same surname, which is the convex. So if they have the same surname, that means they have the same converging effect. Okay, meaning that any light that passes through them, they are going to converge. Okay, doesn't matter. It is a plano, it is a convex or or concave or anything else. Okay, it's going to converge, right? That's why we call it the converging lens. Now, second type of lens is the diverging lens, and we call it the concave lens. Okay, this is the diver diverging lens. Now, same thing. If I draw, if I were to draw the concave, then it looks like uh, this one. So the corner should be. Thicker than the middle part. Okay, so the corner should be thicker than the middle part. And if I draw the light ray, it looks like the any ray that strikes it, ah, it will be diverged. So it moves away like this, away, away like this. So, it is like if you say, "Oh, it is spread out. It is not supposed to be focus point." Okay, on the right side, ah, it will look spreading out. But on the left side. It will seem like they are coming from one point, which is again we call it the focal point. Okay, so concave lens is a little bit different. the The ray diverge out, but it seems like they are coming from the focus point on the other side. Okay, again, 
this is the family. What, what, what is the family of the concave lens? The family of the concave lens, again, if you cut it in half, you are going to look like this. If you cut it in half, then you are going to look like one side is plain, flat, and the other side looks like a concave lens like this. Looks like this, right? So this is, again, we call it the plano. But this time it's the concave, okay? Plano concave. And the last type is this, this, and then here, instead of flatter, now it becomes convex. Okay, the third type of it. And this one, we call it the convexor. Okay. Okay. Convex lens. That's why it's, the name is convexor, concave. Okay, now this is just introduction, just to let you know there are many, many types of lenses out there. Okay, so all of these are the concave lenses. Uh, this is what we call double, con double concave. So, triple concave lenses is going to have a diverging effect. Doesn't matter what family members is it, what plano or convex or them. Okay, they are going to have the same effect. Okay, next one. Now, next one is well, I'm talking principal focus. In lens, the principal focus is a very important thing. Okay, I want you to understand this one. Now, let me just uh, pull out the, the, the thing that I want to share with you, this one. Okay, let me look at this Okay, here I have four diagrams. Huh? Four diagrams. Now, the left side is convex. Okay, these two convex lens. This is the concave lens. Now, first thing, look at the first diagram, uh, top left corner. Each lens will have two focal points. One is in the top, one is in the top. Okay, now, let's look at the top right focal point, the first convex lens. So, if the light ray is coming from the focal point, then all the light ray that strikes the, concave, the convex lens, they are going to move in parallel. This is what this focal point one means. This is the first focal point we call it. Okay, we call it the first focal point. Now, be, bear in mind that the light ray must come directly from the focal. If the light ray comes from a little bit further, like here, will it move in parallel? No, it won't move in parallel, but how does it move? Look at Tassel a little bit further than the focal point. Eh? Instead of going straight, eh, it will go like this. Okay, it will bend a little bit because concave lens is converging, right? But it won't focus on one single point. Okay, if you need a light ray, it's less than the focal point somewhere here. What happens is that again, it will not go parallel as well. It will kind of like this, doing this, doing this. Okay, so spreading out in random any directions. Only if the light ray comes from the focal point here then it will move in parallel. Now, can you ask me why I want to know this thing? Now, this thing is that you can see that the projector will be used. The projector that you use in school. Okay, any projector. So basically what the projector do is that you put that document in this focal point. Okay, then you need a lens. So you see that the projector is that in the back of the projector. 那种老师啊，你你你放他他们放他们那种纸在那个桌上 projector， 然后他 project 去那种 screens 啊，啊，那个 projector 哦，它底下是有光呃有灯的，有有灯的 ，OK， 就是你当你放你的纸上去的时候是它的那个 position 啊是刚刚好在那个 focal point of 那个 lens，OK，、okay? so basically what happen 啊 is that 那个光在底上是它照那个 object 啊 ，so the light is coming from the object。And it strikes the lens just like this diagram here, just like this diagram here. Okay, so the light strikes the lens. Now, the lens convert convert the light ray into parallel ray. Okay, so in parallel ray, that's why you are able to project the object onto a screen when you have a parallel ray. 如果你没有拿到 parallel ray， 你拿到 convergent ray， then you cannot project the object on a screen. Okay, because of parallel ray, right? You can project very far away. 
you can project very far away. So this is the one example of what uh, the lens they use in the projector. Okay. Now the point is that any ray comes from this focal point. The first focal point they will move in parallel. They will behave in parallel. Okay. Uh, that is uh, pretty straightforward. Huh? So if I write down here, so the principal focus number one is that point we call it this is the kind of like how we describe the point okay the point on the principle exists from which all incoming rays after refraction become error okay now second one um can uh this uh, left corner left corner this one now this is same uh, is still same convex lens now incoming ray strikes now this time the incoming ray is different the incoming ray is parallel meaning that the object is very very far away which the more yuan the object the light is parallel okay it has to be parallel for object that is very far away uh, the light ray must be in parallel why because uh, to be able to see very far object uh, the light must reach your eyes, right? The, right? the light must reach your eyes. If the light doesn't reach your eye, then you cannot see very far objects, right? So to be able to see very far objects, the light must reach your eyes. So in order for the light to reach your eyes, it has to be in parallel. It has to be in parallel because only parallel light can travel very far. Okay, uh, just imagine, uh, look on the, uh, let's say, look on the, this is, Moon. This is your eye over here. To be able to see the moon, if the light coming from the moon is converging, it is converging. So it's kind of like it converge and it falls somewhere here. So until this point, and this point onwards, uh, further than this point, there's no light ray. There's no light, light ray anymore because all the light converge and, and lands on here and it disappears. Okay, so converging ray, you cannot see it. Diverging ray, also you cannot see it because it's spreading outward. And by the time it reaches your eyes, uh, the light intensity is already gone. So you cannot see it. Only parallel light ray, uh, you can see it because it can travel very far. So light coming from the moon, parallel and enters your eye. So which is why for object at infinity, uh, woman yung yen dosis hua, parallel light, uh, parallel light ray. Okay, I repeat, for very far objects or objects and infinity, when you sketch the mirror, object placed at infinity, we can see the light ray is parallel. Okay, now, let me erase this. Okay, so this is the second diagram. Now, any parallel light ray strikes hit will be focused on the focal point. So this one, we say that the principal focus number two, this is the focus number two uh, for convex lens uh, on the other side, uh, is that point on the principle exists where all parallel incoming rays intersect after refraction. That's it, straight, pretty straightforward. Huh? Now, the third one on the right side, right side uh, up. Now, since I woman said now concave, so concave again, what is the effect of concave? It has a diverging, uh, diverging. So instead of focusing on one point, they will spread out. So incoming ray, incoming ray first is not parallel. Okay, so incoming ray, any light ray that is facing the focus point. Okay, you can see okay, we're going to take the top. 每一种子是向着这个focal point 过来的ray, 它会变parallel. Okay, now, pay attention to my word. Only the rays that is pointing towards the focal point will be parallel. If I draw another ray, that is pointing somewhere like this. Will it be parallel? No. Okay, second ray, like this. If I extend it, it's not pointing towards the focal point. Okay, 它不是朝着那个 focal point 的方向走啊, 
so it is parallel after the after passing through the lens okay so i repeat only the light ray that is pointing towards the focal point as it passes through the lens then it will become parallel okay so this one how do we call it this one again call it the principal focus number one of a concave lens okay is that point on principle exists okay well principle spells for uh, pal principle uh, exists such that all incoming rays directed towards it become parallel to the principle exists that's it okay after refraction so principal focus number one of concave lens is the point such that all incoming rays directed towards it okay directed towards it it will become parallel to the principal axis okay now last one last one the last diagram huh? again the second principal focus of the concave lens okay so any incoming parallel light rays come away passing through the concave lens come away diverge right they will diverge now this diverge they are not focusing on one point they diverge as it seems like they are coming from the focus point this one which is we call it the focus point number two okay so how do we call this point we can write principal principal focus number two of a concave lens is that point on the principal exists from where we call it the all parallel incoming rays appear to come all right so principal focus number two concave lens is that from where all parallel incoming rays appears to come so after reflection it appears to come from this point that is what it means okay all these spreading out rays it appears that it comes from this same point before the refraction okay now this one is the the principal focus uh, of lenses okay now let's take a screenshot of this one okay now next one I will I'll screenshot down this data I will send in a group uh, just in case you want to take down the notes or anything Now, the image formation by lenses. Image formation by lenses. Now, mirror. So mirror, just a recap, if you still remember mirror, Sanger rule is It is a convex. Uh, sorry, this is a concave mirror, right? Concave mirror. So if this is your principal axis. What is the three rules? Okay, let's say this is your object over here. Okay, now first rule, parallel focus. Right, this is the focus. Let's say this is the focus. Second one is straight away center. Right, center, where is the center? The center is at 2F, right? 2F. 2F is the center, somewhere here. Somewhere here. So if I draw it center, like this, any light ray that passes through the center will be reflected in the same line, on the same line. Third rule is that focus, now parallel, parallel to the axis, right? Like this. So you see that all three lines, they will meet at one point and that is where the image will form here. Okay, now why I want to tell you this one is because our is sketched for lens the saucer, Naga light ray pus reflection, uh, refraction, meaning that nobody done is sketch light ray diagram for mirror, naga light ray su fantan we like. Okay, it can't take a sun good line, fantan we like, fantan we like, fantan we like. Now, look when you sketch light ray for lens, the was it, neither light ray must pass through. Okay, because the lens is transparent, light can pass through. All right, now let's sketch the first one. The first one on the left. Uh, 
is convex. Huh? So again, you have two focal points, one on the left, one on the right, and then also you have 2F and 2F. So first thing, first rule is that parallel, the rule is the same, huh? is almost the same as the mirror. Parallel, non-hole, focus. Now, took a focus, I don't sketch. Yeah, yeah. Okay, took a focus there, we'll boost sketch ta. No, this is wrong. I don't come back and hit this focus point. You have to hit the focus point on the other side because the light ray can pass through the lens. So I write like this. Okay, this is the first one. Second rule is that center, right? Center. So from here, we are going to connect to the center. Now, where is the center of the lens? The center of the lens is right at the center here, the X. Mirror center is 2F. Passing through this one. Okay, this is the second one. Now the third one. The third one is focus parallel. Right? So I'm going to write this focus, passing through the focus, and then parallel. I don't come back again. I don't come back. I pass through it like this. So where is the image? The image is at here. Okay, three rules. Again, you are going to choose two minimum to form the image. Okay, you are going to choose two to form the image. Now, for concave lens, you eat the end of the is converging. converging. Now, for concave lens, it's diverging. Yeah, now, let's draw the first ray. First ray, okay, parallel, focus. Now, since focus, I don't do like this. No, because if I do like light rays converge. That is convex lens. Okay, so since diverging, it must be spreading outward, spreading away like this, right? So how do I draw it? I draw it like this, and then I have to extend this line, make sure that this line lines up with the focus on the left side. This is how I draw the light ray for the concave lens. Okay. Now, second ray that I'm going to draw is center, right? Center. So pass through the center. So this is pretty straightforward. I just pass through like this. Okay, I just pass through the center like this. And then the last ray is focus and then parallel, right? Focus and parallel. So how do I draw this? <clears throat> how do I draw, how do I draw uh, the, the, last, the last ray? Okay, so the, the ray that is coming towards the focus now here. Okay, so any ray that is coming from to the focus, any ray that is pointing towards the focus. principle focus principle focus. Any ray that is uh, focus reflected as parallel. So like this. If I draw it, it looks like this. Right? Focus on the blue line. Focus on the blue line. Any light ray that is facing the focus, they will be parallel. Okay? Now, if I extend this line backwards, dotted, 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 they are going to meet again at the same point X over here. Okay, so this is how you draw the ray diagram for the diverging, uh, for the concave lenses. Okay, for the concave lenses. So again, the last one is very tricky. Uh, the blue color, uh, the last one uh, is very tricky. Uh, this one. Uh. Okay, focus parallel. So it join the focus. This one on the left side, then that is wrong, okay? So this one is facing the focus on the other side, like this, okay? And then after passing through, it will become parallel. That is why the four principal focus just now, I've shown you just now, that is very important, okay? So this is the proper diagram of the light ray. Uh, 
Tak ada benda. You, you mouse lah. Like, <coughs> okay, in the in the uh, the real drawings ah, you need to put the arrows because without the arrows, they will just consider everything wrong. Okay, next one, ah, next one, ah. Okay, ah, done. Ah. Okay, now the next one is we have talked about the principal focus. We have talked about how to draw the ray diagram of a lens. And now we go to the lens equation. Okay, lens equation. Now, uh, before I start to talk about this one, uh, I will create a new meeting. Okay, you can join with us because I have 4 minutes Then the meeting will end. I will create another one, send in a group, then you can join again. 